With Deji's return to social media today to announce there'll be some kind of extra information he'll give on December 2nd, which is in three days time, there are a lot of people that have been wondering what sort of announcement it is. Now, obviously, the big, the big, you know, elephant in the room is it's going to be a boxing announcement. I don't think I have to really, like, go into detail with that one because, you know, Deji, it, like, all people have been focusing on in the last five, six months is his boxing. But also, he he's had a break from YouTube. He's had a six-month hiatus away from YouTube. Um, so people are wondering, is it some form of YouTube-related announcement? Is he just going to come back to YouTube and that's the only announcement there? Or are we going to get some more some more in-depth in information, perhaps even a, a return to both? Well, th I'm going to present the argument today why, 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 why I don't think it will be just a YouTube announcement, you know, a YouTube return announcement. I think it will be a proper boxing announcement. And basically, my theory boils down to this. The entire narrative over the last six months, whilst Deji's been away, has been about boxing. Deji's return, or the whole narrative has been about boxing. All the little, little, you know, the tweets we've had from Yinka talking about his, his, what sort of shape he's in. All the questions that have been asked by fans, you know, uh, uh, all the all the clips of du you know Dunya we have giving updates on Deji's boxing, you know, uh, you know all the all these small little little bits of uh, footage. I mean, recently obviously we had big big footage the other day from the Red Batch. Um, that you know this this footage, which was the first footage we've had on Deji in over six months. You know, first time back in the ring, he's in Anthony Joshua's gym there. So you know, th this is the thing. The entire narrative, and I say the entire narrative because it's true. The entire narrative narrative has been focused on Deji returning to boxing and also the other thing is I d think about it for a second right if Deji was going to stop boxing don't you think he would have made that announcement back in like June or after the fight or a couple weeks after the fight why would he spend six months roughly training again getting back into good shape you know getting much better if we can clearly see with his technique here if he was just going to go mm, you know what I feel I'm um, look <sighs> I want to eat a lot this Christmas, uh, forget the boxing, uh, p put it to one side. You know, no, I don't think it's going to happen like that. I think he, I think this is pr this is preparing for a big fight announcement or at least some kind of plan. You know, I mean, I look. Don't get me wrong. I would love for Deji to return to YouTube. I love Deji's videos. You know, I think he's very funny. Um, you know, De I would love for Deji to return to YouTube, but I think he would not have done what he's done in the last six months. Uh, if he was just going to make it a YouTube announcement in three days' time. Also, I don't think there'd be so much focused attention around his boxing if there was the general expectation that he was not going to do it anymore and, you know, he, he was just going to pack up his bags and forget boxing and just go back to YouTube. You know, because I think a lot of his fans know, you know, after, I mean, after the Vinnie Hacker fight, loads of people advised him, you know, Deji, you know, don't come back to boxing. Just, just let it go, you know, let it go. You, you didn't have a good time, just forget it. But he didn't, and his fans knew that. He didn't let it go. He didn't want to let it go. He wanted to do well. He wanted to overcome uh, his demon, I guess, which was his laziness, which was his lack of work ethic. It's something that KSI has spoken a lot about. You know, Deji is very naturally talented. He just had a very poor work ethic, and this has been seen throughout his entire YouTube career. You know, he got kicked out of the Simon house in like 2017 because uh, he wouldn't clean up his dishes and he was being very lazy around the house and wasn't, wasn't helping anybody when he was living there rent free. You know, he had free food. Like, yeah, this is the thing. It's problem Deji struggled with for years and I think a, a big part of this was not, was not only just for the boxing but was for the the overcoming of this, a, a big sign of overcoming. For this, this is like Deji's rocky moment where he's climbing up the stairs and he's doing all these mad, you know, punching a uh, like pig carcasses, well that's a good gory image but anyway anyway you, you know the classic rocky like like get get back into it um state that he was in. This, this is Deji's version of that. Deji wants to get back into boxing this is his main goal, and I don't think he would have spent the last six months doing what he's done if he was just going to make an announcement in December that he's just coming back to YouTube and the boxing thing is in the past. I think if that would happen, as I said, we would have seen something, you know, maybe a week after the Vinnie Hacker fight, whenever, when so many people were telling him to quit, you know, so many people, quite rightly as well, you know, it was a good suggestion, it wasn't out of malice, it was just out of, like, Deji, you know, maybe this is not the right thing for you, sort of thing, just, just advice, rather than, you know, oh, Deji, you suck, and never get back in the ring again. But yeah, I I, I would love would love to see both happen. You know, a return to YouTube and a boxing announcement. My personal theory would be it's a boxing announcement. I do also have have a little bit of a 
you know, um, I guess uh, I guess more of a conspiracy. By the way, this is a very conspiracy-based video. This is not, you know, this is just my speculation, as it were, based on uh, uh, some pieces of evidence that could point to something. There's nothing is concrete here, obviously. The only thing that's concrete is, oh no, uh, is that he will be making an announcement on the 2nd of December 2021. I imagine a YouTube video form. But part of part of the reason why I think this has been partially curated by Deji, and why this could also point to another fight, is this sort of stuff. Now, the Bread Batch, if you know the Bread Batch, it's a news feed on Instagram that basically posts in from its news. It's been around for several years now, um, but this caption really intrigued me, as it did a lot of other people. It, re it read this, Damn son, at Comedy Gamer, what's he getting ready for with the eyes emoji? Now, if you watch my past couple of videos, you you'll know this, so I'll, I'll, uh, you can skip this bit. But basically, for the newcomers, the guy who runs the Bread Batch and our is enrolled in the business side, the business aspect of the social knockout events, which is the third one is supposed to be happening on December twenty eighth. And, and now, also at the same time, we've had a post, you know, from Slim, um, who you know it has has looked for a fight with Deji. In fact, you you'll have see you remember that famous. Moment moment I imagine uh, in the press conference where Deji uh, was being asked by FouseyTube would he want to fight Slim and uh, Deji pulled off the most gangster move of all time saying Slim who which spawned the, spawned the meme but yes Slim also posted on the same day saying you know what time it is with the clock emoji hashtag main event big news coming so I do think Deji's partially curated this from behind the scenes I don't think this is completely unplanned like I don't think you know it, it, was, it was a case of uh, oh no, the boxing footage got leaked. What? Oh, oh, Jim, you sent the file to the bread batch by mistake? What? Ah, oh, that's a real headache. It wasn't like that. I reckon it was. I reckon it was curated. I like. I, I. I think it was curated. I don't think this was just a a case of a, a genuine leak. Because one of the ch think of all right, think of the chances, right? Okay, so in the last six months where we haven't seen any deji boxing footage whatsoever, that just. Two days before, he's going to make a massive announcement, I imagine, you know, or, at least, or at least he announces there'll be an announcement coming, that suddenly footage gets posted. Think about that for a minute. You know, what, the odds aren't likely. The odds aren't likely at all. In like the 150 days it's been, what are the chances that two days before he's, he's announcing that he'll make a big announcement, that some footage gets posted, which is like the first big footage we've had in ages. Not likely, is it? Anyway, yes, I personally, if this was just going to be a return to YouTube announcement, I think we would have seen much less of the last six months. I think it would have happened, you know, if it was just going to be a return to YouTube announcement, it would have happened ages ago, in my opinion. I don't think we would have seen stuff like this. I think this, you know, he would not be trading anymore. He might be doing some simple, th you know, things to keep fit, but I don't think he's going to be doing proper boxing. I don't think he's going to be in Anthony Joshua's gym in order just to keep fit. He, he he's, he's planning something, is what I'm saying. And I don't think it's just a YouTube comeback, so th th you have warrant to get very excited for December 2nd, where we'll see Big Deji hopefully make the announcement that he'll be get getting back in the ring, and hopefully in the meantime also announce a return to YouTube, because we all want to see him back on YouTube, but yes, Big Deji, I think he, I think he's back, you know, that's just my theory, but I, I think it's like an 85% chance it'll be a, a boxing fighting fight announcement or at least some kind of plan. Uh, you know, guys, I'm going to be fighting in February or something, even if it's not the social knockout event. But yes, very exciting. Day, day, day. Had a haircut today. I'm not super happy about it. I did think about wearing a hat, wearing a hat, wearing a hat. Had a haircut today. I'm not super happy about it. I did think about wearing a hat, wearing a hat, wearing a hat. Had a haircut today. I'm not super happy about it. I did.